So we're back for a second try at this. Thank you for all your insights on the last Jake and Jen live video. Usually my videos get anywhere from 99% likes to 96 or 97% likes. And this is kind of at the lower end. 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 It was 97%. See, I, I was already in the mood of I'll just cut that part out and, and re-talk. I'll re-talk it. Let's did, move on. Did you notice that? Okay, so your response was good enough that we're going to do another one of these with some adjustments. And I'll talk about those adjustments and some other things that are on my mind. But instead of just looking at the camera while I do it, I want to take care of something on the Super Sherpa, or at least attempt to take care of something. The motorcycle runs, but the back brakes don't work. That makes it unroadworthy. I would say not safe, but I'm getting really tired of that word. Really tired of that I word. I want to ride the Super Sherpa, so he needs to fix the back brakes. Yeah, nice low seat height. It'll be great for her. So I'm going to take off the master cylinder, which is right here, because I think this is the problem, and work on that and try to talk about some stuff at the same time without it being such a bumpy ride as it was two weeks ago. So camera girl, why don't you grab this other camera? This will be the point of view. And just like we did before, no editing on this except for when we switch between camera angles. The reason I'm doing that is because it gives you a real sensation of what we're doing here. And also, if I start editing, I can't stop. So I, I have to do it just for my own obsessive tendencies and I'm talking to the camera. So have a look at this brake master cylinder right here. I think most of you out there know how the brakes work. When you push on this, the piston goes up and it's supposed to push brake fluid all the way over here to the caliper or is it where it squeezes down on here and slows down the wheel. It doesn't do that. There is fluid in the reservoir, but no action. I thought that maybe it just needed to have the brakes bled, but I opened up the bleeder screw, I tried to bleed the brakes, nothing happened. I thought, well, maybe there's just no fluid at all in here for some reason, and there was so much air that it couldn't bring the fluid all the way to here no matter how much I pressed. So I took this top bolt out. That was kind of long-winded. I think they got it though. That doesn't sound like you. I took this top bolt out two nights ago, last night, to eliminate any air that might be in this hose. And even when I put my little fingy right here and push this, I don't feel anything. So we've got a problem with the master cylinder. So I'll take it off. How am I doing so far? Great. I hope so. This is, this is just me. This camera is poor con compared to the other one. This is only a HD camera. The other one is 4K. If you guys like this video, that will open up all kinds of possibilities. Imagine if I can do fix it type videos. One cut. We'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, and you don't have to focus that camera so much when we're recording with this one, okay? So the caliper comes off with two screws right here, and there's a little pin behind here that should come off too. I need to remember that these silences are what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so as I'm taking this off, I will mention a few things that I was thinking about on the last video. I've got some cue papers up to try to keep me on track. You can show them the cue papers. Oh, that's our boy though. Oh, okay. So yeah, we can't do that. So we'll have to blur his face. So I, I took your advice that it was it was a rough ride last time, and that's part of the reason I'm trying again, because if you guys didn't boot me off the stage after that disaster, I think I might have a chance. 
the eight millimeter socket. So this caliper, or so this master cylinder rather, is loose except for the reservoir. So if I take this out, hopefully I can weave this down here. Yeah. So I'll take this apart over at the table and talk about a few things in the process. I want to make some adjustments to these videos. What's really important to me is, even with the live videos, I think there should be some value in it. There, there should be something useful, and that's why I'm doing this. It can't just be rambling. Some people like just the pure gossip, like my wife. The things that you watch on television. Complete waste of time. We don't have a television. No, we don't. And some people like to watch things that's pure gossip, pure talk, talk a doodle doo type stuff. And I'm not counting on the people watching these videos to be that shallow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something useful. Maybe you'll need to fix a brake master cylinder sometimes. Sometime. So when we push the the plunger down here, the piston, I don't see anything moving in here. See there's a little bit of fluid, but it's still. I think the first step is to take this hose off if we want to disassemble the master cylinder. What I'm going to try to do Unless, unless everybody just loves this video more than my regular videos, which I don't think is going to happen, I want to make clear to you guys that my goal is to keep at least half the videos this channel puts out as real products of Jenny's Garage. True project videos, not just the easy live videos like this one. This is still a project video. Yeah, I don't know how this one would count. We'll call this one a live video because you have to sift through a lot of husks to get to any kind of grain here. I think you're chantering too much. Probably. So the hose is off and there's a little snap ring in here that keeps this nipple in place. So this way. So this will come off. With these videos, I'm always going to conspicuously label them as Jake and Jen Live videos, as a warning. That way, if you do have notifications turned on, which I appreciate immensely, by the way, that is a level of trust and respect that you guys give me that I don't take lightly. If somebody's willing to have whatever I upload on video come right through, and they can see it. I respect that and I don't want to abuse it. So I'll always say Jake and Jen Live if it's going to be something like this. If it's one of the other videos, I'll just title it whatever I think is a good title for that video. Yeah, I am. I am ch chitter chattering all over the place. So this should come out now. It'll be interesting to see how successful you are with these because you, you seem to need to move your hands when you talk. <laughs> So I'm not sure how much you can talk and work in some work on something. I I I I I I'll be fine. So we might not have to take this all the way apart. There's some clear brake fluid in there, but there's also some garbage in those two holes. Those two holes take in and recirculate the brake fluid in this master cylinder. I'm not sure how it works, but they should be clean. So I'll dump this out. And now we'll get a better look at it. Those are dirty, aren't they? Sure. A toothpick. I need a toothpick. This is where the live stuff gets difficult. Oh, stop complaining. Because toothpick's inside. Do you need me to go get you a toothpick? Can you get me a toothpick? He's the best part of the crew. The 
this is a great time to segue into the stuff you really don't care about, probably. So I'll warn people with the title. Jake and Jen Live. If you don't like it, skip it. And I'll try to keep those at 50% or less of the total output of the channel. At least one per... At, whoa. At least one person mentioned in the comments that I called it Jake and Jen Live, but it's not really live. That's true. We're not doing a live stream because I don't know how to do it, and I want to leave enough flexibility with this format that if we're camping or if we are in an area where it's not practical to live stream, or if we just want multiple camera angles, we can do that. However, it is a completely uncut video. The only editing is the switching of camera angles. I said that already. Yeah. <laughs> I plan to do formal introductions on this video, tell you a little bit about who we are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you planned to do that last time. So we're going to do that now, right? This is more interesting to the people watching, I think. Well, it's not as dirty as I had thought and as I had hoped. I wanted it to be dirty because I wanted to have an easy fix. It looks like there's some garbage in there. Is that just my eyes? I don't know. I'll blow it out with some compressed air. How am I going to rev up the air compressor with the camera going? <laughs> so, if there's number three Jake and Jim live, same as last time. Leave your comments about this. Tell me what you think. Be ruthless with your thumbs down likes and dislikes. Oh, I'm lucky there's air in the tank already. I'm not going to ask if you would rather hear an air compressor revving up or my talking. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. So blow that out and I'm really hoping that'll fix it. It's as close to live as I think we can get without actually being live. Our internet can't, it can't support live. Yeah, our internet can't, can't uh, handle the live either. But I think the title is still true enough, don't you, Jake and Jen Live? I don't know. It's, it's not really live. Well, but... I wouldn't have put live if, on it. If anybody... That's because I'm accurate. Oh, if anybody doesn't like the live, the Jake and Jen live, just pretend that it's Jake and Jen live. We live. Yeah. Works either way. So just blow this out. Is brake fluid good for marigolds? It's always the garden. Oh good. It's going in your face. <laughs> So we can put out some decent ones, even on the fly. <laughs> Blow this out a little bit more. Now you're just trying to get a marigold. I may be ruining it by doing it. Hold this, and I'll get some brake fluid. We'll put some brake fluid in there and see if it looks like it's any better. I don't think anything was helped by that work. Then why'd you do it? I didn't know before. <laughs> I tried, and I didn't see anything fly out. I thought I might see chunks of something. Well, that is a tiny hole, though. Do you see the tiny hole? I think so. Maybe, maybe. Did you turn off the compressor? Yes! All right. <laughs> Since I don't have the reservoir hooked up, I'll just pour a little bit in here. Now, when I go like this, it should spill out onto my hand on the other side. Mm. 
I don't think so. There's a blockage. There is a blockage. So what could cause a blockage? I don't know if brake fluid gets crusted up like gasoline over time. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It feels, slipped away. Yeah, it feels like it might be taking on some fluid in there. What if I put this in here? Put the snap ring back and I'll blow some air directly in there. That might give it enough pressure that it clears out that teeny tiny hole. I don't know if the way I was doing it before did that. I really appreciate all the comments on the last video. The last live video and the last true video about the battery box. It's nice to know other people admire their work after they're done too. If some, somebody mentioned in the comments, that's your debrief. After you complete something, open up something cold to drink and just enjoy the moment. I'm probably strange in other ways, but it's good to know I'm not the only one. Now this, I would cut that part out. Okay, so give this a blow. Okay, Aww, so now it's going in my face. So, okay. <laughs> Spray tan. So see, I'm I'm giving it a pogo stick here while I blow. So any sand will be evenly dispersed throughout the master <laughs> cylinder <laughs> and ruin everything. Okay. Now hook this up. I'm afraid we need to take apart the whole thing. I don't think we have the battery life for that. Do we? I think we, well, when I say taking apart the whole thing, it's one more snap ring. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. So I'll take this off of here. When you leave a comment, make sure that you don't use any words that YouTube might automatically not like. My channel is set to filter potentially unfriendly comments or so, some similar thing. And I haven't changed it to show all comments because I think that might cause no ads to run. And the little bit of money I do make from this channel, I get through those ads before and after. So I don't really see an upside of letting foul mouthed comments come through. But I really wanna know what you think, positive or negative. So if you do have something inflammatory to say to me, say it with words that won't make YouTube kick it into the trash pile. And if you left a comment that was complimentary with a bad word in it, and you're upset that I didn't respond I just didn't see it, probably. I try to respond to a lot of comments. I haven't responded to all of them, though. <laughs> what am I talking about? So, it's cloudy. See how the clear fluid has turned cloudy? No? Well, it has. Yeah, it looks cloudy. So, to remove this inner part, there's another snap ring in there. I'll dump this out first. What plant needs it the most? That's actually an environmentally friendly approved 
underground container that I'm dumping it into. The For thing, brake fluid? Hmm. This, I don't know how this is all going to work out. I can't edit it after the fact. So I, just while you were not paying attention, I got that snap ring out and this piece. Now I don't know what the next step is. Oh, you're gonna hit it. There's a piston in here with some rubber O-rings that push the brake fluid into the caliper. And I need to get that out. Maybe. Probably a good idea to put that on there. I can't feel any movement. So the thing going up and down, maybe it wasn't even pushing the piston that it's supposed to push. Maybe that springy action I felt was just because of this rubber. Maybe like, like that, because I can't get any movement from this thing, this way, or that way. We're going all in. Hammer. Where'd it go? Thanks. Just that socket. So that was stuck. Were you paying, were you watching? I can't remember. So there's the piston. It was stuck. Hmm. You're not gonna get away that easy. This is what pushes the brake fluid through the system. And that's crusted up. However, the lower O-ring looks good. That one does too, I think. That's pretty gross. Yeah. I sure love you. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> I'll take off these O-rings and try to clean this. Or maybe I should try to clean it with them on. Instead of taking them off and cleaning it with a wire brush, I'll leave them on and clean it with a toothbrush. Remember, that's not a tooth. You're right about that. <laughs> Remember, anything you say is going up. Is that all right? I'm looking for some cleaner. And by the way, you're being a champion with the camera. Good job. I don't know how long this is going to go on. If I don't I see the feel like I wake up every day and say that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more about that in a future video. People say that my videos inspire them to go out and get a motorcycle and work on them. And that is the most complimentary thing anybody could say. I you can't imagine how much I appreciate that. But to those people who tried something new, I would say, be proud of yourself. People typically don't try something new. They live in their little box and that's it. So anybody that is willing to see something on the internet. Keep your hands working. <laughs> And anybody that's willing to try something new, I have great respect for. And my video, although it may have tipped you over the edge, it was finally that last, that last little push you needed 
to go do something new, you're the one that did it. And good job. Can you imagine having some boring job, maybe a theoretical chemist, and you go try to work on a motor? It's, it would be like me switching spots with you. I, I, I see what you're coming from. You see, you see, you you see what I'm working with? Yeah. It'd be like you trying to knit. Right. Are you trying to be kind? What? Uh, I, I see that that was that's horrible. Yeah, that wasn't funny. I that I don't believe that. You are kind. And this is see sometimes sometimes we break toothpicks. Here. Oh, thank you. You got more than one? I thought I thought I should have one just in case. Good job. Good boy. So I mostly, I'm, I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing these videos. So old brake fluid does turn into sleaziness. But it's coming clean pretty quickly. Not quickly enough. That was, okay. Move on, move on. I like meeting people that watch the channel out in public. I, every once in a while, somebody will say, hey, I watch your videos, I'm subscribed to your channel. And I can't help but think, for every person that approaches me, there might be another one that sees me, but they think, oh, I don't know, do I really wanna go talk to him? To you, I will say, I love talking to people. I love talking to people that watch the channel. Naturally, I am extremely shy and introverted. I hate phones. Polly hated phones. I'm just like him. And Polly, who's Polly? They'll tell you in the comments. The, so if you see me, if you see us out and about, come say what's up. I, I, I think, I've always thought that with any YouTube channel, not just this one, or most YouTube channels. If all of those people that are subscribed to that channel were neighbors with one another, it would be a perfect community because in some way they're all similar. There, there's some connection between Jennifer and I and everyone who watches these videos. You should gesture less. I think you're getting that gunk in my hair. Okay. Maybe should use the wire brush, but I, th I think it'll be okay this way. And if I'm doing it this way, I don't risk messing up these rubber pieces, removing them. They're old. They're old and not as resilient as they used to be. Oh, a tool is being offered. Thank you. Good one. That really speeds things along. People have asked a lot through the years what we do for a living, what our jobs are. And right now, my wife stays at home, teaches our son school, and, and she did it before it was compulsory. Sorry. Yeah. It's moisturizing. So, and that's what she does. And I am in the process of repairing and liquidating our, por our portfolio of, Ooh. our portfolio of rental properties. <laughs> we got some old junk houses that have been great investments over the years. But although I kept them plenty habitable, I did not, nobody was in a slum type position. There is some deferred maintenance on these places and I'm making that transition, I think I've talked about it before. I wanna get out of the rental game and move on to other stuff. So I am remodeling and repairing the things that need to be repaired on those properties 
and selling them. It's not just deferred maintenance, too. The renters weren't kind to our properties. That's true. I, I take, I take, I take good care of my people, and I take good care of the properties. But they need paint, or there's a piece of rotten siding that needs to be redone. And I want, I want to sell all of these places. And if you have things that will keep a property from being financeable, you really limit your pool of buyers. So I'm, I'm not making them all immaculate, but I say them all. I've only got a couple. I'm, I'm not that big guy that, that you see on YouTube that's got all those hotels and cigarettes. I'm, I'm, small, I'm small potatoes. But Do you have a suggestion, though? What is it? I want to brush drill bit. Oh. That's what I was talking about, but that will ruin these little O-rings. Mm. I'm taking a long time on this. I, I, I do apologize. I will take one of those for the spring. So... So my days are split between construction work and videos and family time. And the house that we're working on now is one of those properties that I just spoke on. Do you want to talk about what you used to do? This might turn into meet Jake and Jen. We were working stiffs for 10 years, 15 years, yeah. until I realized that I just was not built for that. I'm self-directed and I, I, I live and die by my own successes and failures. I, I, I have a really terrible time with empl the, em the employer structure, working at a job. It, it, I'm just not made for it. And because when you're, when you're going to school, you brought up believing there's only one way to do things, I, I fell into it, and I did it for 10 years. I made decent money, but I had enough. I still have nightmares about work. I haven't had a day job since 2011. I've been self-employed since then, not only doing videos and my current situation, but my own ventures, and I still have nightmares. Within this past week, I've had nightmares about my old job. And camera girl, how about you? I'll get a rag. Okay. I was a pharmacy technician from the time I graduated high school until about 2014. And I... I liked my job, I was good at it, but I didn't like the organizations that I worked for, which didn't really care very much about people. And they didn't really care much about their employees either. It was just about pushing things out as quickly as you could at the risk of, of employees. Pushing and weight in the pharmacy. It wasn't very fun. It, it was, uh, I liked my job, but I didn't like the way that things were managed. I didn't like the way that people were treated. Right. But it became an easy choice for me when, when our boy was little and I thought, I'll stay home with my boy. I'm not going to send him away to school. I like him too much for that. And same holds true now. That was four years ago, three years ago, and mm -hmm. he's a joy to have around. Yeah. I worked, my field of expertise, or my, the, the jobs I worked were sales and Carpentry, construction. Those were my trades. But I always loved doing this stuff. I mentioned that in the last video. I love machines. I like making mechanical things, working on mechanical things. What do you think? It's good enough for a test. Oh, yeah. I checked on the prices for these parts. A new master cylinder is over $200. Please. Just this part, which is the rebuild kit, is about $27 for an aftermarket one on eBay or about $50 for a genuine Kawasaki rebuild kit. We all know which you would buy. You didn't need to say that. That's, that's paints you in... Well, I, it paint, paints you neg green? negatively. Oh. I, th I think they can they can tell you so if you look down the barrel uh, 
have to watch what I say. I don't know how closely they listen. If you look down there, can you tell there's still some remnants? Yeah. We need to clean those out. Just, I'll, I'm doing it in, into my approved container. You don't have to watch. <laughs> Not under your plants. <laughs> How, what's the next thing on the list? Have I been following the list? I can't tell, the and, list is... And does it seem like it's any more structured than last time? Or is it still... I think it is. This, tell me what you think of this one. Because this is going over 10, 15 minutes, I think. How long have we been on? Can you tell, honey? 35 minutes and 45. 35? 46. Yeah, 35 minutes. Th this is... <laughs> you talk a long time. I, I talk a long time. Should we call it... Okay. I, w I don't know if this is 100% clean, but I'll blow it out real quick, put it back together, see if it works, and then after we finish this video, I'll probably, if it does work, I'll take it apart, clean it more immaculately, on my own time. Does that work for both of you? Yeah. 35 minutes. Is anybody still there? <laughs> <laughs> There's also going to be residual generic D40 in there that I'll flush out, but just so we have some expediency Put this back together real quick. See how long these things take, especially when you're me? <laughs> so I'm pouring some brake fluid into the master cylinder and everywhere else, too. Oh, did you see that? I heard okay. a little click. Oh, okay. Which way does this go? Okay, I'm upside down. I don't think you squirt my squirt gun than yours. <laughs> So that was upside down. This is the way it goes here. Okay, so now that, see how that, that springy springies like it should? And this. What's my chances? Do you think it'll work? Oh yeah. Thank you. I, I, I think it will. Oh, I, so there's still a couple things. Thank you very much for your compliments on that battery box. I mentioned that earlier. Throughout some of these videos, people have asked about the Shasta trailer that I began working on six years ago. And it's my albatross, but it is not forgotten. It's neglected, but not forgotten. I will finish it, but the reason I don't is, or the reason I haven't, is because, for one thing, the videos are so old, I, I'm really embarrassed at the low quality of the videos. It's hard to put something coherent together from stuff you filmed that long ago, and most of the people watching this channel don't care about Shasta videos. So I have a tough choice there. There's some really long-time fans that would like to see that project completed, and I respect those people. But I also don't want to alienate the people, the rest of the people. I will, though. I will finish it. It just needs to happen on its own time. That didn't make any sense. It'll, it, it'll happen when I think it's the right time, or if, if there's a public outcry. <laughs> okay, that, and so that's the Shasta. People ask, a couple people have asked about the Corvette. Not many. I sold it. It was taking up this whole garage. One Corvette, or one, two, three, four, five to eight motorcycles will fit in here. Corvette had to go. So I sold it at a loss, but it went to a person who was specifically looking for that car. He wanted a yellow wide body convertible Corvette. And at least one person asked about the ruckus. 
We sold the ruckus too. We liked the ruckus. It was fun. I, th I think it was fun. What do you think? Yeah. You lo sure looked like you were having fun on that ruckus. I liked it. But, but I, I wanted a dirt bike. She wanted a dirt bike, which she has one now, but it's just in a lot of pieces. So, so the scooter wasn't what we, it wasn't the best fit for us. So that snap ring, I, I cannot tell where the groove is for it. See how that's, I'll, I'll get it. I think if I push it in there with the screwdriver some more, it'll work. Do you want to talk about the next video or doing a poll? for what people want. Oh, good idea. You, you're amazing at keeping me on track. There, I, I, did you hear that click? Yes. That was the snap ring going into its groove. So the next video, there's a couple options. I can do a fully produced video. I can probably get it done in a week. If not, there will be one more of these. Okay, what would you rather see? I'll make it simple. For me, not you. You can understand more than me probably. Would you rather see a video about the Sherpa, regardless of what happens here? Would you rather see a video about Sherpa or something new? I was at Lowe's within the past 10 days, and within those 10 days, at two separate Lowe's, I'm buying materials for the house that I'm working on, I got two allegedly non-running pressure washers. Similar situation to the generator that I did a couple years ago. Would you rather see Super Sherpa video, maybe about the brakes, maybe about something else, pressure washer video, or here's another option which may be inevitable, but I'd still like to know what you think. We may be, we're in California now, we may be 500 miles from here in a week. Slim chance, but still a chance. I, I'm. I'm digressing here, and I'm also <laughs> just letting you know how I feel with my hands. I'm, I'm feeling trapped, and I feel the walls closing in around me. And some of you will know what I'm talking about. Some of you have, have other feelings. Everybody, I think, right now, is, or a lot of people right now, are feeling negative about certain things. But I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I need to get out of here. Maybe not permanently, but... It's things are strange. I there's there's two jobs that I can think of are that are just about the easiest jobs in the world right now. Can you guess what they are? First one, bank robber. Oh yeah. And uh, another very easy job right now, related to bank robber, is police sketch artist. I think I could be a sketch artist right now. Doctors too. <laughs> work from home. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to censor you. Maybe. <laughs> I've got nothing against doctors. They're, they're, uh, they're great at what they do. So those are the options. An update, if, if, we, if we're gone by the time another week rolls around, I don't know what we'll talk about in that video, but it'll be a live video. If it's it, either of the other two choices, Sherpa or pressure, I'm under pressure. Are you under pressure? I think I might be. You should be <laughs> under pressure to stop the video. 33 minutes and 53 seconds. It can be 33. It's got to be. That's 43. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. So I'll put a, a more understandable poll, I think. I'll do a post. Let me know what you think between those choices. The pressure washer and the super sherpa will be produced videos. The other one will be like this, live. The 125 isn't, that's not an option? I, I can't think of what you're talking about. Talking about the 125. What 125? The Z125. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that. Maybe. I wasn't thinking about it. So reservoir is hooked up. So we're watching two things. We want to see if this level goes down when I pump this, or if it comes out the top. Mm. 
Feels different than last time. Before that, piston wasn't even moving. Trust me. See? But there's no, maybe if I, if I kind of fake bleed it here, if I put my finger here, okay, I can feel pressure, which is good. So to bleed the brakes, you push it, release the pressure, put your finger back on and release it. But you usually do this with the bleeder screw and a wrench when you bleed the entire system. So I'm, I am feeling some pressure. So put, there it is. <laughs> I, uh, strange, strange thing, ah. strange thing to get excited about. But did you see that? So yes. So the brake master cylinder works. <laughs> I'll clean it up and put it back on here. If we do the Sherpa video, see that's how I do a job. That even if you didn't like this video. You've seen a lot of videos that are five minutes of me doing a job and you know maybe it comes across a certain way like I have some business doing that job. This is how it really goes. We got it done though. Brake cylinder, master cylinder works. Did they see it the first time? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's been long enough. Thank you very much for watching. Right in my mouth. Can you turn it off? You're the cameraman. You also got more to say.